as we were talking at the very beginning, you know, you've had a quite a sharp sort of rise just recently, especially around the, you know, since the Mats and the Academies have ultimately, um, uh, cut, you know, segmented into the marketplace. Um, what do you think is the reason for your, your success in that? Um, and also, you know, what maybe you would have done differently? <laughs> I know, I know that's quite a difficult question. Maybe I'll be modest here. <laughs> we don't, we have had the product and it was, uh, we believe it was performing well uh, and we are selling one school at a time. But those are, of course, it's hard work and it's a slow process. It's more like, uh, and have we not tried to promote our system to maths? And I re recall very well the first bunch of maths that we had. We must have called them six months, nine months earlier. To get through to anyone to make to engage with it was very, very difficult. Mm. All they're saying, we got, we got X, Y, Z, let's say SIMS or SIMS, and we're not looking to change. And yeah. just very short conversations. It was strange that when they wanted to consider alternative, and I think it was, me, a couple of them were really contractual. They come to the end of the contract and they had to go to tender. It was as yeah. simple as that. Um, without giving you name, they went, to the market and they more or less knew what well, was going to be either x or y they never thought it was going to be z sure from home. <laughs> and but they oh, just really? couldn't they couldn't resist they said well we don't know about romcom this is matt i'm talking about yeah, yeah. um because they, they they have i believe for a long while they work in their bubble and uh and um, when they, oh, of course, our submission was good. Um, they said, can, that, can it be true? Our pricing was very uh, competitive uh, because it was cloud. Yep. Um, and uh, they said, well, let's get these guys in. So we went. Um, they really liked what they saw, but they were worried about rest of the map, the principles and so on, you know, how uh, local they can be. Yeah. But they can't just simply say, oh, we've chosen and it's not X, not Y, it's Z actually. So they have called every one of them, the big uh, bo uh, boardroom, and said, here's Broncom. We're going to they're going to show you what they have. Yep. And that's how they saw the rest of the mat when they saw what they've got. They say, well, it may, it's no brainer. It has to be Broncom. But it's, it's strange that they did not start with that in mind at all yeah um because of we were on a particular uh framework they had they had to call us in as well um and yes uh, that's now having done that i think it's 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 set the with other mats saying really the particular mat in fact had sims and sims i believe so in one stroke it took both of them out oh, um. Yeah, from, from, from. but that's only the beginning. You had to really work very hard to make a thing work for them. But sorry, there's one more uh, uh, twist to this: the fact that we said we can migrate and uh, we can migrate this fast and so on. Well, you say one thing. Did they believe us? Probably. Well, I don't know. Probably they didn't believe us. So I said, okay, here's a school. Uh, you're saying that it will take three days to. The migrate, show it to us. It was the hairiest, ugliest database you could ever imagine. It yeah. based Simis and Simis uh, for its um, uh, versatility and so on. The flip side is that you do all sort of fancy user defined stuff and it becomes really difficult yeah, database sure. to uh, um, migrate. And in fact, only a couple of years earlier. It was there was an attempt made to transfer that to Progresso. They couldn't. So so difficult. So they say, here it is. Show it to us. And we, I think we did over the weekend. And they just couldn't believe it. That was what really made them believe wow. that this is really doable. And I think the whole 40 or 40, 50 schools were transferred within 12 weeks. Uh, they were That's up and running. Good. So what I'm trying to say is, I think um, that combination is what made the success. 
um, no matter how hard we could have tried to get into maths, um, it would have been difficult. They saw it and then they didn't account for it. The fact that the saving that you would have provided. I, I, I hear some people have got somewhat question mark about these savings. This particular one saved 2.8 million pounds over three years. This is publicly available information if anyone has got doubts. How they did it? Because the series of, from the, every one of the schools just gone. Sure. The service that you need to provide six, at least six engineers in white vans would run around when there's an update to make, do the updates. Those are all gone. Um, they rationalize their data, ma data managers and so on. 2.8 million pounds. That's the figure over three years. And that's about 40, 50 schools. Yeah, that, well, that's, a, that's definitely a lot of money to save, isn't it, from, from, a, from a particular map. It's, it's interesting. I've seen, I've seen the paper, you know, that was written as well around it by, um, by uh, uh, our colleague. I mean, I mean, it probably is not right to name, name her, but, you know, I, I, I've seen, I've seen the, the paper. It's, it's a good paper. Good. For sure. So, so what things would you have done differently then, going back to that point? Um, it's difficult. <laughs> you can say nothing as well. You can say, no, no, no I think we did it well. I'll be frank with you. I think um, what is you looking back, we must have been very, very patient. And I'm not known to be a very patient person, but I think patience paid um, because we knew uh, local authorities had different attitude and issues and resistance and um, their own mind. Why not? Why not stick to what you they had uh, on premise and sims? And we were surprised uh, where I think maths um, has been easier is because they got, um, they can see from one center point, the savings and the benefits so easily. Mm. Where in local authorities, the uh, total cost of ownership is fragmented. Oh, this is, comes out of school budget, nothing to do with us. This comes from support center budget. This comes from LA and so you can't, have one figure that said, my God, this is costing a lot of money. And that's what, that's what maths can see. And, that's, and yeah. also can calculate, uh, that's why 2.8 million comes into it. Yeah. So when you say what differently, it is very difficult to say. I think um, being patient, I think is one thing we did right. Uh, and when we did um, start the journey with uh, maths, we did a good job. Um, I think the team has worked extremely hard. Um, and that's probably one of the virtues of Bromcom. And we had the maths telling us when things go wrong, they will go wrong. We never ask whose fault it is. Mm -hmm. It could be a head teacher or teacher, whatever. We just get it sorted out and move on. It's, sure. it's just so counterproductive. By the time you try to have the, that argument, the fault. Yes, certainly we, we do have this question, what lessons have we learned from that? Let's make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> but most importantly, you want to get the problem out of the way first of all. Then worry about afterwards. I fully agree with you. I think it's very important. I think schools, you know, they, they, they've got so many other things going on in their heads. It doesn't matter who, what's right or wrong, actually. It's all about we just need to continue to be able to deliver learning and, you know, and, and education to the, to the pupils. You know, it doesn't really matter where, which side of the fence the problem lies. I think in lots of cases. Um, so obviously, uh, so we're now talking about the MIS market and, 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 and its whole, you know, obviously there's lots going on at the moment. Um, you can see that, you know, there's, uh, so Capita Sims, you know, potentially can be bought um, and by who, I, I don't know, you know, I, I think that, can be, that guess is as good as anybody's, I think at the moment, but there's lots of people interested. Um, what do you think is going to be the impact potentially of, of Sims being bought, you know, what, what, what do you think will happen? Uh, if you could, if you had a crystal ball and you could predict, what do you think is going to happen in the next few years? I think rather than um, what will end up happening, I can tell you what this means really. And uh, we all into IT and so on. It means nothing less than heart reset for the sector. 
And that's got to be a good thing. Mm. Now, I'm known having uh, worked very hard to try to do certain things in the marketplace, especially early 2000s, when the notion of allowing third parties to access someone else's database was unknown. It was taboo almost. People saying, why would we let you to have our, access to our data? Mm-hmm. And they would say, it's not our data, even in school, go and ask the school. We had all sorts of difficulties. And we worked very hard. I and mean, sometimes we had to uh, resort to OFT or CMA um, or uh, bundling software. That was also very, very difficult for the industry. So we worked very hard to address them as much as we, we can. I don't think we solve all the problems, Nick, uh, sadly. Um, and hence, 75% of the market is still sitting there without the cloud solution. Sure. So all I'm saying to you is that the announcement to sell ESS, I think, is nothing less than hard reset on the sector. It will be, I hope. And uh, we may see a lot, much different um, uh, interrelation within the um, whoever buys it and the rest of the industry. And uh, we hope to see, um, most importantly, schools accessing what they need. That's cloud-based products. And unfortunately, COVID-19 has been the best example. Schools, teachers, head teachers want to access the system remotely. How could they do with that? You know, you talk about remote desktoping and so on, when you can access it from anywhere, anytime, from any device. Uh, browser mm. that must have really really brought home the fact that it's been uh, we should have done this long time ago switch to cloud yeah I, I know there's been a number of um, tenders that come in um, to you know come out sorry not in come out and um, based on the fact they want that you know uh, uh, schools want anytime anywhere uh, and so they, they, they I think there's been a, a, a rise in a number of schools have been looking for those sort of types of solutions because of COVID, as you just yes, said. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Good. Cool. Um, so with this change then, so there's this change now potentially with Sims being bought um, and, and you, you're saying you see it as a positive in the sense it should be a, now a hard reset. So ultimately, you know, p- that there should be a bit more, um, and maybe a bit more openness in the sense of being able to procure what the solution you particularly need and people will potentially change their attitudes towards it as well. Um, where do you see, so, uh, so there's been a big change already happening in the sense of with the, su- with the support teams. So the support teams, you know, they, at one point they would have been called SIM support teams. So that's how, you know, how symbiotic, you know, how, how that relationship was so strong. But more and more of these support teams are starting to look at other uh, and support multiple solutions. So they're looking to support, you know, from combat, I know. Yep. I know, I know you, you know, you, you've been, um, you, you work with a, f- a, f- a number of the actual support teams and also same with Arbor and Scholarpack and so on. Do you see any, any other significant change um, in, in the fact of working with these support teams, especially when probably that 75%, a big chunk of that 75% that Sim still has is actually in the maintained sector? Um, I think the, there is um, the support centers they, 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 are, they do have concerns, and some of them are not knowing um, some of the facts. Some of them believe that cloud may remove their jobs, for instance. It may be that they think uh, Bromcom will take the, their livelihood away, they do all the business in us, uh, internally. On the contrary, our approach has been all, in all times to work with these support centers and indeed uh, use their expertise, local expertise, to continue that services. It will change. They will not need to get into their bands and go around and uh, update the uh, workstations and so on, what, whether they have tools or not. Uh, but all that means is that they will elevate their involvement, engagement and services accordingly. Uh, just to give you one example, we know one LA very, very much into Power BI. And they will use that means retraining uh, and certainly using uh, analytics tools to be customized to schools' liking and difference and enhancements and so on. So 
Um, I think the support centers uh, have got still very much a uh, role to play, but in a slightly different variant. Sure. Okay. And, and, and basically by adding maybe more services around sort of building assessment tools and, you know, throughout, you know, from the MIS itself rather than button pushing, I guess. Yeah. Just to give an example, these were done in Excel before. Mm. Basically, what we're saying is things moved on, and there is now, um, for instance, Power BI as a tool that, that again, that is not, um, again, your typical secretarial job, admittedly, uh, playing with Power BI and so on. And that's, again, nicely fits in, in, in their role. Cool. So the market's changing. So where do you, if you're, again, going back to the predicting, so where do you see Bromcom in, in five years' time? Well, where do you see the MIS market in five years' time? You know, what do you think is going to change? Do you think academies are, that, that, you know, that there's going to be another rush of more academies? Because it's sort of slowed down a little bit recently. Um, do you see mats just getting bigger? Or do you see more mats coming into, this, into the market? Um, do you see the maintain sector changing in any way? particular uh, you know and and where do you see then bromcom in the middle of all that well i think um the time has come that uh the having mat mats coming forward switching to cloud that's been very much the norm in the last three five years yeah. i do believe that's going to change to la in whatever variant that is so i don't see the barrier as much as that going forward at least yeah. i hope so and in the next 12 months, we'll see a number of LAs coming forward. They engage very closely with us. Uh, and uh, we, we, they will, again, just as the earlier adapters in uh, maths, they will say, we've done it. And it really worked for us. And here are the results. That's always very important. Um, then, so from Bronco point of view, we had three to five year goal. I don't think a result is changed. Um, we want the same, uh, going for the same goal, uh, but the players, actors may be different. It, we hope it may be easier. It may be that um, the uh, DFE may take interest in this, don't forget, because they are one of the big actors, stakeholders. They can't be happy that uh, what cloud providers be providing, and that's not just Broncom, our other colleagues as well, within hours of the AP saying for COVID uh, returns we want this within hours we were able to provide it to our schools now can you do that with non-cloud system no 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 probably not in in, in lots of cases for sure I'm not yeah. saying that the AP wasn't appreciative of uh, cloud solutions and what it would mean mm. but what I'm trying to say is this is now start causing a pain in the AP, I would imagine that accessing that data, including census returns and all, all, all the rest of it, I think it's high time really that they take uh, active interest in what's going on and perhaps with ESS, they may take interest uh, how that pans out in the um, coming next stage. I, I, I do think there's, a, there's an interesting, going back to the DFE, I think there's, a, there's an interesting um, uh, benefit for them really if everybody's on cloud and that would be very much the idea that they could actually take the data when they want it it's much easier when it's in the cloud i, I appreciate there would have to be some sign off from the head and you know all they, they, those things would have to be solved but the idea that they could potentially get to the point where they could go actually i'm going to pull the census information today or tomorrow or, or whenever give notice but but the idea they can do it any time i think is something they should consider well of course whatever uh, arrangements there will be there'll be a protocol how is that is done that applies even if you do it by paper yeah of course. Um, so I think that aside the attraction of not having to have census return someone sitting and doing this and the other sending it to LA and LA doing their thing and sending up I'm sure the time is gone yeah, I agree yeah, I agree well, it's, it's accessible, isn't it? When it's on the cloud, it's all accessible. So, you know, it's the right place, it's the right thing to do, for sure. 